Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using consistent deformation method. In this beam, the support to be sinks by 10 mm. The flexural rigidity EI is given as 8000 kN meter square. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is uniformly distributed load 3 kN per meter. It acts for the whole span. In the span BC, there is an eccentric point load 12.5 kN. It acts at a distance of 4 meter from the support to B. Length of AB is 8 meter and its moment of inertia is I. Length of BC is 10 meter and its moment of inertia is 2.5i. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. The number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. The available equilibrium equations are 2. So the degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 2. So it will be 2. From these 4, we have to release any 2. 1 should be RB because in the support B, there is a sinking. In this case, I am going to release RB and RC. When we release RB and RC, the continuous beam becomes a cantilever beam. Now let us draw the coordinates diagram. Let us keep RB as the first coordinate and RC as the second coordinate. These are the two equations to find RB and RC. The support in the point B sinks by 10 mm. So delta 1 will be minus 10 mm. It is negative because the sinking occurs downwards. We need to convert 10 mm into meter. So we need to divide 10 by 1000. In this way for delta 1, we will get minus 0 0.01 meter. In the point C, there is no settlement or singing of support. So delta 2 will be 0. Our first coordinate is RB. So P1 will be RB. And our second coordinate is RC. So P2 will be RC. To find these displacements, we are going to use unit load method. We need to make sections. Let us keep this point as a D. In this beam, there are three different parts AB, BD and DC. So we have to make three sections. One in AB, one in BD and one in DC. You can see that I have made three sections, one in AP, one in PD and one in DC. I have made all of the sections at a distance of X from the point C. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are three members, CD, DB and BA. For all of the sections, the origin is C. The limit for CD is 0 to 6. For DB, it is 6 to 10. And for BA, it is 10 to 18. For CD and DB, the moment of inertia is 2.5i. So the flexural rigidity will be 2.5ei. For BA, the moment of inertia is I, so the flexural rigidity will be EI. Now we are going to find the moment M. We are going to find all of the moments from the point C. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the moment M in CD. Up to this section, there is no load. So the moment will be 0. Now let us find the moment M in DB. Up to the section we have a point load 12.5 kN. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. 
for the distance we have to take this distance this distance is x minus 6 let us find m in ba up to the section we have udl and the point load the point load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative for this load we have to take this distance this distance is x minus 6 the UDL is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also negative. We have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 4 plus 6, so it will be 10. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. After simplifying this, we will get this. Let us apply that. Now we are going to find the moment M1. We have to remove all of the loads from the beam and we need to apply unit load in the direction of RB. First we are applying the unit load in the direction of RB because it is our first coordinate. Now let us find M1 up to both of these two sections. There is no load so the moment will be 0. Let us find M1 in BA up to this section. We have only the unit load. About this section, the unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 10. 1 into x minus 10, it will be x minus 10. Now we are going to find the moment m2. We need to apply unit load in the direction of RC. Let us find M2. About all of the sections, the unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, it will be x. Using this formula, we can find delta 1L for CD and DB. The value of M1 is 0. So no need to make the integration, we can directly apply 0. Using a calculator, we can do this integration. Ei is given in the question as 8000 kN meter square. We can apply that. For delta 1L, we will get this. Now using this formula, we can find delta 2L. For dB, the flexural rigidity is 2.5 EI so instead of EI we have to apply 2.5 EI for delta 2L we will get this using this formula we can find delta 11 using this formula we can find delta 12 and delta 21 and finally using this formula we can find delta 22 in these two equations we have found everything, we can apply them. After simplifying, we will get these two equations. Using a calculator, we can solve these two equations so that we will get RB and RC. By applying this rule, we can find RA. For RA, we will get 13.16 kN. Now from the point C, let us take a moment about A and to find MA. RC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 18. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 12. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct. It is a hogging movement. Now from the point C. Let us take a moment about to B and find the moment at B, MP. Let us assume that MP 
we see a hugging movement. RC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 10. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. About the span BC, MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MB, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. This is a hogging movement. Using these formulas, we can draw the free movement diagram. Using MA and MB, we can draw the end movement diagram. By combining these two, we can draw the bending movement diagram by superposition method. Then using the right hand side rule, we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In the span AB, in this point the shear force becomes zero. In this point there will be maximum positive bending movement in AB. We can make a section in the beam and find the distance. You can see that in that point I have made a section at a distance of x from A. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the shear force which is 0. In this way for x, we will get 4.38. Now let us find the maximum positive bending movement. We can use right hand side rule. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4.38. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. With the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. In this way we will get 7.26. Let us find the bending movement at A. In the point A we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The point C is a simply supported end. So the bending movement at C will be 0. To find the bending movement at D, we can use left hand side rule. Or C is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. We will get 22.62. Using the left hand side rule, we can find the movement at B. For that we will get minus 12.3. This is the proper bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.